Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs provides guidance to the public to reduce the possible negative health implications during and after the carnival season. During this season, there is a tendency for participants to let their guard down on many different levels. It is important that precaution is taken to ensure safety for all at this time. We advise that persons look out for each other during the events, especially those during the night. Avoid dark, isolated areas when going to and from events. Reduce the opportunities for personal injury and violation. Avoid dehydration by reducing exposure time in the direct sunlight, the wearing of sunblock and sunscreen, and increased water intake. Stay hydrated. This is important during high-level activities. Special consideration must be given to the elderly, young children, and those with chronic health conditions who are particularly prone to dehydration. Avoid excessive alcohol intake as this also leads to dehydration, injuries, violence, and road fatalities when persons drive under the influence. Timely eating is also advised. There are limited intensive care beds available at the hospitals, and usually during this period, we note increased patient flow in the accident and emergency departments at the hospitals. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs informs the general public of the low blood supply at the blood bank at this time. We urge you, if possible, to make an urgent blood donation at the blood bank or the various collection sites. Sleep deprivation and exhaustion also leads to increased motor vehicular accidents as persons may fall asleep while driving. Ensure you get sufficient rest between events or appoint a designated driver if you feel tired or sleepy. The majority of the planned activities are in open spaces and on evenings. We are in the rainy season and we normally note increases in mosquito indices at this time. The public is advised to take the necessary precaution and use insect repellents to reduce mosquito bites. Annually, we also note increases in sexually transmitted infections after the carnival season. We advise against unsafe sexual practices. The Ministry of Health will be donating condoms to carnival bands and planning associations to ensure they are available to revelers. Condoms are also available at the Infectious Disease Unit on the first floor of the Sir Stanislaus James building on the waterfront to carnival bands and also available at the various wellness centers free of charge to the public. The Ministry of Health would like the public to enjoy the carnival season responsibly and keep healthy during and after the season.